This is CoinWeek's preview of Harlan J. Burke's Mobility 7 online auction. Register to bid on these or any of Mobility 7's 313 lots by downloading Harlan J. Burke's free app from the App Store or register online on Harlan J. Burke's website, www.hjbmobility.com. We start our preview with Lot 5. This gold solidus shows Empress Irene on the obverse and her son Constantine VI on the reverse. In 797, their relationship soured to the point that Irene seized Constantine and had his eyes gouged out. He likely succumbed from these wounds, but his date of death is not precisely known. This is a highly sought after striking. Lot 9 is an Arabian touch of drachm made in the style ABL. The strike on this coin is fantastic. A black coffee patina radiates from the surfaces of the coin. Struck in the first century BC or later, the obverse depicts Heracles in lion headdress. On the reverse, an enthroned figure, perhaps one of the finest known of the type. Lot 48, a beautiful stator from the 95th Olympiad. The 95th Olympiad was held in 400 BC. Olympic coinage of the ancient world is an interesting and challenging area of study and collecting. In 400 BC, Minos of Athens carried the day, winning the stadium race and being remembered for time immemorial. The coin features the head of hair on the obverse, a thunderbolt, olive branch, and wreath on the reverse. This example is toned in fine plus condition. Lot 60, a tetradrachm struck between 175 and 150 BC in Molasses capital city, Caria. The coin is interesting in that it reflects the month of striking according to the Macedonian calendar, an unusual feature. The coin's obverse features a rose with two buds. On the reverse, an eagle standing right on a palm branch. The coin's condition is noted as extra fine. Moving on, Lot 71, a Cilicia Nagata Stator in a nice example of the type. This coin was offered in Gemini Sale 12 in January of last year, struck between 380 and 370 BC. The obverse features a seated Aphrodite holding a Fiale in her right hand. Eros is to her left. The reverse features a draped Dionysus holding a bunch of grapes and Thyrsus. Lot 74 is a tear-shaped stator of Euagoras I. On the obverse is a head of Heracles. The reverse features a goat kneeling facing right barley above. Lot 119. This didrachm is pedigreed back to the Sternbuck 10th sale of November 25th, 1980, and what a handsome piece it is. Good, very fine condition. Closing out Coin Week's preview of Mobility 7 is Lot 190, Pupianus Denarius, a nicely struck example of this short-lived emperor. And that's your Coin Week auction preview.